going on, everybody? Welcome to the Stack. Welcome back to Be Here Before. I'm Neon Mushroom, and today, Commander. Um, oh, we've got the boisterous Bosnian, the dad, actual Dilf. The actual dad. And um, we've got, what's your name again? Uh, it doesn't matter. Found him on the street. <laughs> uh, we, we got some, hopefully, okay, I'm going to address this really quick. Uh, I'll even leave this in the edit. Um, definitely leave in the in the chat and the comments below how you felt about the last week of content creation. If you've been following it, um, it, it transparency. It's been much easier for us to upkeep this type of content creation, and we can put out more content. And we have some bigger content coming on the way as soon as the next set drops as well. But I'm definitely interested in some feedback on that. Other than that, we've got Commandy. We got Calvin in the chair doing the Commandy thing. He might do it all day. We might switch in the middle of the day. It's going to depend a little bit. We're starting a little late. We're going to try to get at least three games. And I'm playing one of Foley's decks. It's a Vernog, Riders, Chaplain, and Hardglide, Kindly, Rune Chanter. Kindly, Rune Chanter. I've been led to believe it's an Esper combo deck. It's an Esper it, combo deck. At some point, I think I would like to gain access to the card. What's it called? Uh, Car Clan Ironworks. KCI, Car Clan Ironworks. Okay, so our Hargild uh, just adds blue to the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, Wernog is um, when he enters the battlefield, you investigate, everyone else does or doesn't, and if yeah. they don't, they lose life. If they do, you make oh, an extra right, key. right, because these are friends forever, not partners. Yeah, this is this. You, Candle Keep Sage would be a way better way to add blue to the deck, but you can't actually do that. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Will Dustin from. Um, yeah, Will and Dustin. From but it's not Will and Dustin. And yeah, it's a combo deck. Um, there's a few lines, but KCI plus all the artifacts plus. Things like Time Sieve. We're just we're gonna try to throw Oracle people, but in a slightly more fair way oh, than casting. We can do some Alter of the Brute stuff too. Yeah, yeah, but it's a combo deck, five hundred dollar budget at the end of the day. Speaking of combo decks in the five hundred dollar budget that aren't fair and aren't trying to do th nice <laughs> things, Iden. Hey, it's Acerac. When you eat TBs, you venture into the dungeon, and then um, if you haven't completed uh, the, what was the Tomb of the uh, Archlich? Tomb of Annihilation. Tomb of Annihilation. He uh, he. Goes back to your hand. Yeah. So we're never gonna really complete, complete that. You're uh, gonna try to infinite dungeon. Yeah. And how would we do that? Heartless summoning, baby. Reducing the cast of Acer Act, right? Yeah. Helm of Host, Heartless summoning. Yeah. Things there, like there's that. gonna be a point where you just, I'm gonna do this so much, and you're gonna die, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What's up? Just a quick question. Is that the old list that we had for Acerac? It is. So Relic of Legends hasn't been added yet. Relic of it Legends has not been added it yet. It hasn't. Yeah. We got to update this. Yeah. Wayne, you're playing a deck that Guy's famous for bringing into the spotlight. Yeah. And now um, you've decided you're going to bring it into the spotlight. I am. I'm building this deck, actually. It's almost done. This is your copy, right? This is my copy of the deck. This is Volo Guide to Monsters. Uh, he re he is a 3-2 for 4. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't have a shared creature type with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. So, imagine that. <laughs> the name of the game is Gotta Catch Em All. This is basically Pokemon. Um, I uh, would like to resolve a Palancron, make a copy of Palancron with Make enough, infinite mana. Make infinite it, mana, yeah. and then doing things like drawing my deck with Arch of Araska, or yeah. resolving a massive finale of devastation. To get like a crater hoof or something, giant creatures go burr. Yeah. And the, it's maybe, most of you probably know how infinite mana would be made with Palancron and Volo. We're not gonna explain it in pre here, but if it comes up, we'll make sure to slow down and explain why Wayne just keeps casting spells and not tapping any lands. Foley. Yeah, we got Lisa. The relevant text here is whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. That's the point of the deck. Also, you can pay life to pay to commander tax. So that's pretty cool. So it's always cost five. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a yeah. it's a low key Frexian. He yeah, Frexian it has a lot of enchantments in it because I, I I like sphere sphere safety. Um, yeah, ah. but yeah. You know what we need, Calvin? You know what we need? Card game. Do we have a card you game in? Here you go. Card game. We're professionals. One, two, three. Boom. It's I. I win. All right, sweet. I Expressive win. iteration is a modern playable Magic the Gathering card. Less so in Commander, but you can still do it. All right, let's do this. I knew first. Okay. I have a keep, by the way. Everybody got keep. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sheesh. Draw. Wait, hang on. Let me. Yeah, you can mulligan. Swamp. Pass. All right. Draw. I'm gonna play this forest. Tap it for a Elvish Reclaimer. Oh no. That was good. Oh yeah. Let's uh. Shine, shine, snarl. Revealing a swamp. Shine, shine, snarl. Shine, 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 shine. Here's a soul's attendant. Go ahead. Sick of tired of all those one drops. Oh man, I hope I draw lands. I'm gonna play Steve Clouds. Um, I have three opponents. This works. I'm gonna play Ponder because. Yeah, I'm allowed. That's a cool ponder. Um, huh. He's got like tears coming out of his he's, little eye. He's got tears coming out of his little eye. He's crying about his little eye. He's crying. 
He's crying, that's crying. I think I need to shuffle this pile, it's not quite good enough. So we're gonna shuffle and draw off this ponder. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Foley, these sleeves, man, are unreasonable. <laughs> Those are relatively new dragon shields too. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> dragon shields has been letting me down. I'm just gonna say it out loud now. Okay. Dra oh, I think we're dead this game. Pass. Ante, draw. Maybe. Uh, swamp. Let's go with uh, Carnival of Souls. Yes. Uh, whenever a creature comes into play, you lose one life and add black to your mana pool. Yeah, that's fine. Pass. Neat. The adding of black to the mana pool is the messed up part. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm going to draw. Kind of like Relic of Legends. Uh, I'm going to play this island. Yeah. I'm going to play this soul ring. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to... Pass turn. There you go. Oh, it's holding up. Wait, he can't hold up Elvis Reclaimer. It costs... No, it does not cost colors. He can just do it. Yep. Alright. Uh, here's a swamp. Here's two. Here's a pearl medallion. It makes your white spells cheaper. It sure does. Go That's ahead. Cool. You're not gonna attack. I guess I can. You can just get busy at Aiden. He has a carnival of souls. <laughs> Untap. Draw. One. Yeah. Alright. I drew a land. We got there. Vault of Champions is a land that I'm allowed to play because I have multiple opponents so it comes into play untapped. And Ledger Shredder is the spell I'd like to play. Uh, this is a really cool one. In response to that, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I make it a land. What land yes. are you going to get? Uh, Simic Growth. Simic Growth Chamber. Simic so Growth Chamber? Bounce this forest back to my hand. All right, I know what to do. Strip well, mine the Simic Growth Chamber. Well, before that, hey, what does Carnival of Souls do again? Whenever a creature comes into play, you lose one life and add black to your mana pool. Oh, a, a creature comes into play. Ledger Shredder. You just lost a life. Ow. Yeah, that just happened. Man. Oh man, Wayne's deck, he just might just cast a bunch of spells and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Scoot and a uh, Simic Growth Chamber means you get to bounce your forest to hand, but your Simic Growth Chamber play, makes two mana, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, that's all I got. Pass. Untap. Draw. Hmm. Okay, um... We'll go Swamp, and we'll go Warren Power Stone. Warren Power Stone, yeah, that's good. Pace. He's making mana. Fully, we have to team up. Untap. Untap. Draw. Uh, let's play this forest that we just bounced last turn. Oh, by the way, when a creature entered, I gain a life. Oh, oh fuck. I'm missing my triggers, too. So we got people losing life and people gaining life. All right, Wayne, play as many creatures as you can. Working on it. Full of. Full of. Trigger. Trigger. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Before we move past the main phase. He has a black floating. I have a black floating. Oh boy. Oh no, Aiden wants to use his black so he doesn't lose it, meaning he's gonna use a removal spell not optimally. What are the chances? I know you don't think Shredder's the problem right now. No, it's. I mean, Volo's always a problem, right? Sure. What can you do about it with one black dismember? Defile. Defile. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're casting Defile, what does it do? Um, minus three. one, minus one for three each swamp. swamp. Right. And you have three, and bowl is a three, two. Well, that's the rips. All right, how's that? Yeah. All right, let's untap. Then draw. Yay, you did it. Uh, here's an isolated chapel. Comes in untapped because I control a swamp. Tracks. And this is going to cost one less because of a weight spell. Here's a windborne muse. You gain a life? Uh, he, he loses, he loses a life. A life. Um, I have a black. Creatures can't attack me. It's a ghostly prison. Creatures can't attack me unless it's Pay two for each creature. Got it. Uh, I'm all. Mm. You gonna attack? I didn't. I didn't. Ow, oh, stop it. Go ahead. I'm hurt you. It's just one. Draw. That's cool. Let's do a Caves of Coilus. Foley, you got a lot of fancy looking <laughs> cards in here, bud. Um, and then I like the bougie cards. I don't these know. These do be being bougie. I think I want to. Hmm. Probably I'm supposed to play Burnog here. But I think I really want to make some extra mana because of the way my hand set up. So what we're actually going to do is cast Fabricate. Is this cool? Ooh. Fabricate's going to let me search my library for an artifact, put it in my hand, and then shuffle my library because I searched it, and you always have to do that. Whee! Are you going to go get Bobble? Uh, I don't think I'm going to get Bobble, although that would trigger my letter <laughs> shredder. And that's, that, that's pretty cool. But I think as long as Foley is a good and balanced deck builder, we should be all right to grab a little... Little buddy. If it's not in here, I'm gonna punch you in the throat. I don't have any fast mana. Yeah, you do. Soaring. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. grab this soaring. Fair. 
I'm just gonna play it next turn. I hope everything works out. Combat. Ivan. Ow. You are the bad guy right now. Pass. Yeah. Draw. Ooh. I'd love to lose more life. Uh, swamp. Oh, that's not an ancient tomb. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go... Hmm. Does this kill my shit, too? Yeah, no, this kills my shit, too. Hey, remember to use your uh, your speaking voice. I didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. I... We're gonna pay six. Here is a Narcana Revenant. That's not bullets. I lose a life. Narcana yeah. Revenant says, four mana. When you tap a swamp for mana, add an additional black mana. And it's got swamp breathing. Swamp plus one plus one for a black. Wow. Hey, someone kill that. <laughs> Pass. Yes. All right. Untap. Draw. Play this Yavimaya Coast, and then for six, we're going to do this. Oh, it's full again. You gain a life, you lose life. Unbelievable. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> cool. it's pretty good. All right, untap. I'll keep a draw. Let's play a Fetid Heath. Yeah. And then I believe I do have the mana to play my commander. Lisa, you gain a life, he loses a life. I like this. It's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, she does have Flying and Lifelink. Um, and that's all I got. Go ahead. On tap. Draw? That's not a land. Rats. All right. Now I have to think. Well, I'm, not, I'm done thinking. Here's a, here's a Soul Ring. We're definitely doing that. Um, then I think... Hmm, hmm, should I tap for that Soul Ring differently? I will. I'm going to tap for that Soul Ring like this. Um, because then I'd like to float. Uh, no, that was fine. I, I don't think I'm going to Grim Tutor this turn. I thought about Grim Tutoring, just to be clear. Um, I think I'm going to tap for what you do. Add Colorless Colorless only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. I'm never going to cast you. Um, I think you're just giving me blue cards, and I think I'm pretty okay with that. Yeah. I think I'll go with... Listen, if, if this could be Candle Keep Sage, like, it would. I'm gonna tap for three, and I'm gonna play Thorough Investigation. Trigger Letter Shredder. Uh, trigger Letter Shredder. But what Thorough Investigation does is whenever... You just remind me to trigger a Letter Shredder like I don't do it six times a week. <laughs> um, I play the card and construct it. Uh, thorough Investigation, whenever I attack, investigate, and whenever you sacrifice a clue, venture into the dungeon. This seems quite good. But the Foley is correct. That was my second spell. So I'm gonna connive. Draw one card. Hmm. I think I'll pitch... I probably don't need Teleportation Circle and Thassa Deep Dwelling. They both flicker my creatures. Um, I think Thassa is harder to interact with because it's indestructible. I'm going to pitch this Teleportation Circle, which is a non-land. Thank you. And it being a non-land means that this gets Wait. a plus one counter. Jesus Christ. You casted a spell. Yes. You actually oh. cast two spells. Yeah, that's what Lisa does. Combat. Thank you, Calvin. Two at Iden. Bah. Pass to you. On to draw. Okay. Uh, here's a swamp. Yeah. So we got 10, 12 here. Black floating. Yeah, let's make gonna, five. We're going to read the bones. Re take two? Yeah. yeah. Scribe. And then you're reading the bones, so take two again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This man, <laughs> so he doesn't like his life total. <laughs> He's raging against his life total in real time. Uh, I like Ledger Shredder. We can bottom both of those. It's pretty cool card. Yeah. That was cool. Two. Roll two. What do you got in that hand now? Four? Four. That's too many. Want to discard a couple cards for fun? No? Okay, cool. Good talk. We played in land. Uh, da, da, da. And you've got one floating, right? Yeah, one floating. Two, oh my gosh. Are you trying to do math right now? What to do here? Well, don't do anything without using your floating mana, you know? Trigger yeah. my ledger shredder, dude. It'll be fun. He says. How big is Lisa? 5-5? Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. Clue? Oh, but I have a clue? Oh, I investigated. Thank you, This Calvin. is a 2-3. Yes, 2-4. 2-4, correct. You need to pay 2 to attack me if you want to attack me. If that's what you're looking at. My guy, I think you need a blocker. You're about to get dog piled on. We're gonna use the color or the floating and then this this 2 mana and cast Soul Shatter. I Losing 2? Yeah. We'll respond. Um, wait, I don't have to respond yet. Trigger Ledger Trigger. Yeah. That's a, that's a short guy. Um, that's kind of a banger. I'm gonna pitch... Hmm. Maybe this Spark Devil? Yeah, wait. Yes, I'm gonna pitch Spark Devil, triggering the Shredder. 
And then all of us are gonna sacrifice a creature with the highest yada yada. I already took two, right? Yeah. yeah. Except me. Right? Yeah. yeah, not you. Like, specifically not you. The highest yeah, I'm cool. the high CMC. CMC? So I'll sack letters right I'll sack Mesa. So. I'm gonna put Volo in my graveyard. Ooh. Okay, then we're gonna spend four, lose a life, because the creature's gonna need to be, and it's gonna be Crypt Ghast. Again, a life? Yep. So now uh, we're gonna use this for three. And Ace Rack. Ace Rack for once. A uh, Venture. We do not have the Venture dice, or Venture cards in here. Uh, we're yep. gonna go into the Lost Mine and Scry. Yep. Calvin, you got a Venture card? Exactly. Yep. Take your time. We know the first couple. I mean, he, if he's in mine, he's gonna go Scry, Treasure, Drain, Gain, Draw. And that's the loop. Right. You did it. And scry to the bottom? Scry to the bottom. And pass. Alright. Draw. Play this Yavamaya Coast. Oh, make sure you use your boomy voice, Wayne. Gotcha. Boom. Alright, uh, let's go. Three. Three. E witness. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna grab Volo back to my hand. How for interesting third that Volo was in your graveyard. Time. Play Trigger Volo. Aww. Trigger, trigger. And you get a. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Uh, no, my, my letter trigger. He, he dead. He gone. Pass my turn. Okay. Yeah, draw. A. No. Play hey, Lisa. Punish Iden so he can't combo us. Um, hang on. Lisa interestingly stops you from comboing. She does. I need two partially, white. That's partially why I saw one black. Soul shatter there. Okay. I'm going to play this Bright Plan Pathway. As a Bright Plan Pathway? Yep. And then, yeah, and then we're going to go four. We're going to pay two to recast Lisa. Yep, and then Iden takes one. And then we had to do it in this order because there's no other way to do it. I'm going to go one black, lose two. I'm going to Kaya's Ghost Form Lisa. Sick. Uh, enchant Creature or Planeswalker. When it dies, we put it in exile, return that card to the battlefield under my control. Got it. And then you don't have any flying, right, Wayne? Not currently, no. Just take two in the end. All right. Sick. Good. Go ahead. All right, here I come. Big moves. Draw. Cool. That'll work. Um, let's do tap two. If I can't find lands, I can at least find with mana ramp. That's a talisman of progress. I'll lose two from the Lisa. And then, am I metal craftiest? I'm crafted of metal. Um, talisman of progress doesn't let me cast Vernog, and I think that's heartbreaking. It'll be fine. Um, I think. Wait, nothing's fine. Everything's actually awful. Let's cast Vernog. Um, I'm gonna do Sea of Clouds plus Volt of Champions equals Vernog. Okay. Um, and this is a different version of Will, so I am going to, what is the keyword? Investigate. And you guys may investigate, but if you don't, oh, I'm taking two because I cast a spell. I'll investigate. You'll invest. oh, you're taking one because I played this. So you're gonna investigate. Oh, I'm gonna one. Um, did you say you would or wouldn't? I'm not going to. It seems bad on going to. So I'm gonna get three more. Yeah. One for me, two from each of you. Can I see you? And you're, you all grab, the, there's, they're in the deck box, I got you. There's one in the deck box. Yes. And then, so I get a bunch, and that's cool. And then I'm out of action, so I'll pass the turn. Here you go. Thank you. Untap. Draw. He did it! He did it! He's gonna make infinite mana! Thank God, Lisa. We'll, I love that Lisa's in play right now. <laughs> we'll crack your clue. Yeah. Neat. Here's Cabal Stronghold. Not that it's needed. I think you would lose mana if you activated that Cabal Stronghold. <laughs> <laughs> I could use one swamp to activate it. I would get. Don't your swamps at tap for like three? Three, yeah. So use one swamp, tap it. Tap two That's lands four, to make... but we would get five. So tap two lands to make five, where you can tap two to make six normally? Well, this one doesn't... I know, it's, but yeah. it's still worse than Swamp somehow right now. Yeah. Like, you'd make more mana if you just play a basic Swamp, which is funny. Anywhere. We can still play it once, right? Or how, what, how is she worded exactly? Lisa? Every time you play a spell, you take two damage. Oh, every time just you every play a time. spell, that's what... what the yeah, it's is. real nasty. You're getting tanked right now. That sucks. A pretty neat level of stacks. Uh, we're gonna, I guess, activate this f for five. Yeah. Uh, one floating. We'll play... No, uh, that's not gonna work. Hold on. That's not good. Actually, yeah, no, we'll do that. One floating. 
We'll use no, the one to the deck. extort. So I guess I'll lose two, but then... You lose two, but then you extort, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. And... Then... I'm gonna tick her up. I need a dice, please. Yeah. <clears throat> Each player discards a card. Each opponent who can't loses three life. I'm gonna discard this collector. I'm gonna pitch. I don't really wanna pitch anything. I'm gonna pitch Sister Hospitaller. Swamp. I'll do... Ah, uh, ew, 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 ew. Ew. S Silence. The one floating. No, we used it. So one, two, three, four, one floating. We're gonna use it and extort again. Alright, you take two. Yeah. Uh, we all take one from the extort thanks to the crypt gas, and you gain one, two, three. And then it enters, he's gonna lose life, I gain a life. And oh. then he loses a life off his own card. And yeah, I get Then he black makes a black. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and There's a lot I, of things happening. I guess right now. I'll make a. Mm, you lose, lose a life. And gain, or yeah. add a black. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just make a treasure. Yeah. And say go. Okay. Uh, and then it goes back to your hand, right? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, I actually get to play with this Volo? <laughs> yes. Holy it's, it's out. shit. Yeah, we're over here ignoring Wayne. He could just, like, win. I don't know. I'm just trying. Crown cost eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's a mana away. He costs nine. Nine? Oh, he's two mana away. No, he costs seven. Oh, he could do it. <laughs> he could just go for it. I could. Uh, but now, now is not the time. I don't think. Um, four, six. Uh, here is a and consecrated six. And that's on cast or enter. Probably. That is on when an opponent, uh, when uh, whenever you cast a creature spell. Two consecrated sphinxes. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, well, they're both gonna enter. Yep. So Iden takes one, two. You take two from casting it. Yep. yep. And then I'll gain two. Yep. Wow. Yeah. The fact so, that you're only at 48 blows my mind right now. He had to cast Lisa. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man, one more land would have been excellent. So you have two, right? I do have two Consecrated Sphinx. Can someone get me a, a token? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. how's your Pokemon token? They're in the other room for now, just use this green one. I'll grab them between cool. games. This is a my Consecrated like Pokemon Sphinx token. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I think I yeah, will awesome. be passing my turn. Yeah. Seems a pretty good turn. Alright, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna draw four cards. Sure. Draws a card. Okay. I'm gonna ruin your day, Wayne. Uh oh. Hell Here's yeah. a Spirit of the Labyrinth. <gasps> oh, player can't draw more than. Okay. I didn't take one. It lose, I lose two, yeah. yeah. It happens. There's so many triggers. Every time a creature comes into every time a spell is cast, they take two. And when a creature comes into play, fully gains one off of Souls Attendant, Iden loses one off of Carnival of Souls and makes a black. The game stays weird. Yeah. Go ahead. You're passing? Yeah, I'm, I'm hung on. End of your turn, I'm gonna crack a clue. Yep. And draw a card. But that action causes thorough investigation to trigger. I'm gonna venture into Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna start by gaining a life. I think I'll leave it. Ah, uh, here we go. And then I'll go to my turn. You said you cracked a clue at the end of your turn? Yeah. Okay. But that was still during his turn, right? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll draw a card and you draw one. One. Yes. Um, and then, and then, 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 I would like to take game actions. So, uh, I think I'm going to go through the right-handed side, left-handed side. Yeah. I definitely want to do that. But I need to do other things while I'm going through the dungeon. That's very important. Um, so, in order to do other things, I would like to... Take this Case of Cleos and put it, it's, it's colorless mana in the Talisman of Progress to make blue white. And then I'd like to pay two more. And I would like to play Shh. Wait, Talisman is it not the Blue signature. white. Or sorry, Talisman of Progress. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to lose a life so it doesn't work like that. Um, which means I don't need to use this. I'll just make uh, white, black, blue like this, and then tap for two. There you go. It's not a signet. And do I really wanna do that? You know what? I, I think I can still tap that mana but cast a different spell. Yeah. 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 Um, Thassa Deep Dwelling. It's not a, not a creature. Not a creature. Definitely not a creature. And More then... Clues. More clues. I'm going to go to my... End Step? Yep. And trigger Thassa. I'm going to blink Vernog. I'll Boop. One. Boop. When you hit your End Step, I'm going to crack my clue. Yeah. Um, but... 
um, we can resolve because I'm going to make a clue. Got it. So, um, who's making a clue? I'll right? make a clue. One clue? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll make a clue, I'll make clue. A clue now. Yeah. Fully clue? Yeah, on the, on the leave. You're all making clues? Yep. Yes. I'll get four more. Um, like this. Oh, and then when... Oh, well, I guess that hasn't happened yet. When he enters, I'll gain a life, and then... Yeah, it enters, you gain a life, and then I'll pass. He enters, and the same thing happens. We can investigate again. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, again. Right. I'm going to lose a this time. Lose it's a, a leave and enter. Lose a life. Take a clue. Take a clue? I'll make two. Go up to this many. Right. Very nice. Yeah, Vernon triggers on both. I need Sweet. a clue token whenever someone gets a chance or something to represent it. A little clue? I got you. Yeah. And after that, I will properly pass. End of your turn, I'll float six. Use two, crack a clue. Use two, crack a clue. Nope. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. He got one. Untap. Awesome. Draw. Alright, I will draw one card off the Consecrated Sphinxes. <sighs> hmm. I've got so many artifacts. That's gotta mean something. Yeah. Scry one. Go by the Baba Dooba. A dibby dooby dooby. Skibby boo. Man, at this point, you can come tutor for the time save. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> sure could. Okay. I don't think it's infinite, but... It's, it's a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You got like 20 mana. What you gonna do, buddy? <laughs> All your game actions cost your life resource. Yeah, we're gonna try and change that. I'm gonna protect your shit so hard right now. <laughs> well, she has Kai's Ghost Form on her. <gasps> That's right. It just comes back. Oh, it just comes back, yeah. yeah. That is true. Sheesh! Oh. Mm. He's got mm. four cards in hand, but we know that one of them is a Syriac. Yeah. A cereal yeah. bar. Yes, indeed. So, what you gonna do, buddy? Thank you, boy. Oh, He's got this fire-breathing attacker. Now. He has never attacked with it. It blows my mind. No, I'm holding him back. You guys are attacking me. Um, Could gas can block. <laughs> yeah. How do I make the activated ability of artifacts cost two less to pay? So I can crack all these clues without paying mana. Well, you wouldn't want to crack them all in one turn anyway. Yes, I would. I don't care. Oh, oh you're right, right. <laughs> I just want to go to the mana wizard. Well, Time Steve is sacking them. Whenever you sacrifice up, a clue, Casey, I also sacrifice. I think I'm gonna end up ultimately staying at 14 if I keep X story. Okay, so it begins the loop. Three mana. Uh, we're gonna use one of it to X store Heartless Summoning. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> no. Okay. I lose four. And you also lose two because you Because I had to pay life for both of those. Does the X card still go off? Yeah. I lose one, 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 two, two, three. Fifteen. Okay. Um, so with that scrapped and out of the way, here's two, four, six. Oh, no, actually, one and less. Lose two, but we Liliana Dreadhorde General. Liliana's extorted? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you got. And I think I'm just gonna take the roll. Make it two two zombie. Two two zombie, yeah. Uh, Calvin, where, just where's your just tokens in general? Yeah, we are. Those so should definitely be over here. Uh, when the zombie enters, you lose life. I get life. Yep. Foley, you just get to chill. You're just doing it. Yeah. There you go. Two twos. At the end of your turn, I'm assuming you're done. Right? Yes. I'm gonna crack my clue. Sick. And he already drew a card, so it's good. You're, yeah. You're passing your turn I Yes. Okay. I will untap. Uh, untap that too. And draw. Sick. Love that. Any more dice? Uh, yeah. You've seen all of them, huh? Yes. Actually, I need two. Two? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to to start charging you for this, dude. <laughs> all right. Uh, I am going to play this Guildless Commons. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to bounce this, but float a green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
two, three, four, five, seven. Okay. There he is. Here he is. Trigger. And also one frame. frame. And then I'm, you make a copy, right? And then I make a copy of Palancron. So did we want to stop and try to explain this now? Yes. So do um, you want to explain it or do you want me to? You can explain Okay. It. There's a Volo being in play means when he casts Palancron, he's going to copy the cast of Palancron because Palancron is an illusion. Yes. It's an illusion. There's no illusions in his graveyard or in play. Um, so both these Palancrons are going to enter and they have an enter the battlefield effect that untaps up to seven lands. Yes. And you can respond to the triggers. So when the first, they, they come into play, their triggers go on the stack. What Wayne can do is let the first trigger resolve, untap all of his lands, and then float mana and let the second one resolve and untap those lands. If he has a way to loop Palancrons entering the battlefield. Without he, dying? Without dying, thanks to this Lisa. He will be able to continue to respond to his own effects, floating mana along the way and eventually going infinite. However, he can only cast 15 more spells before he just dies to Lisa, so we'll see what happens. Right, so... He's not casting the copies, right? No, but he need, does need to cast spells from here in order yeah, to win. I do. Uh, Alright, so I will untap seven lands with the first Palancron trigger. And he's got a Simic Growth Chamber and a Gildas Common, so in those four lands he can make six mana. Yeah, so I'm going to float this... Six total? Six total, and then untap off the second Palancron trigger. D3. Yep, yeah. The D30. The D30, yeah. He's going to need it. How, many, yeah. how much do you have floating? Uh, six. 12. No, six. six. Six currently. He can make another yeah. six, though. So he's got six floating. So you have... Where is it? I can count. I can only count to three. I can only count... What the fuck? I actually can only count to three. Dude, here, I got you. Here's yeah. the six. Oh, there's the six. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to use two of it. Yeah. Uh, to cast Sylvan Scrying. All right, take two. Sheesh. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh-oh. Hmm. I'm really glad Spirit of the Lamb is, play, is in play. Yeah. Going to, go If he went to go get an Arch of Araska, uh, he'd be able to, as he's doing his mana thing, just draw like, all the cards in his deck. But Spirit yeah. of the Lamb doesn't let you do that. Sure doesn't. Love that for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, just so everyone knows, while he's tutoring, uh, the boys are out in Frankenmuth right now playing a little 3K modern event. Uh, Chris just lost to a creativity, so he's four and two, and both Max and Guy are at two losses as well. So I don't think uh, any of them are top eighting. Uh, uh, Rip. We're gonna go grab Temple of the False God for more mana. For just more mana, yeah. Temple of the False God needs five other lands or four? Five lands total. It's five or more lands. If you control five or more Including lands, itself, so Temple it. will be the fifth land, but I can't play it. The strings have already played a land. Wait a minute, I have a question. Palancron not have seven lands? Yeah. Up to. What? Oh, wouldn't he have more, or? Uh, well, he can only float the mana of response. I technically have ones. bounced okay, all right. two lands from Gildas Commons and Civic Girl Chamber. Chamber. Okay. Yeah. But you do have a copy of Palancron now, right? Yep, right okay. there. And yeah, the copy I have the copy and the other one, okay. so that resolved. Here's a copy of Palancron. Okay. There we go. Vol is hard, you just need to print the deck twice. <laughs> right. Alright, so from there... Spirit really be fucking me up. Yeah, um, that's great. I love that. It's right. an enchantment. There's at least that. You got a Rex Sage? Don't let Iden talk you into destroying that spirit. It's hosing him too. <laughs> <laughs> If I could win like this turn, I, I might, but I don't think I can. So what I'm going to do is uh, so let's just do four, six, uh, and we'll cast a Woodland Bellower. And I don't think I have a copy here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't see any beasts. I don't have a beast, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna get a second copy of Woodland Bellower. What does Bellower do? Bellower so says when he enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a non-legendary green creature card with converted mana cost three or less, put it onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. You and then you lose two for a casting spell. Correct. So you I get you can destroy spirit of the labyrinth if you wanted to. You could get Reclamation Sage. Yeah. Put it onto the battlefield. Kill Carnival of Souls for no. Leave that in play. Let him die to it. Kill him. Um, you should if you play. If you play three more creatures, you can kill me with Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if he attacks you, how big is Consecrated? Four six. If he attacks you with a four six, and then Iden attacks, you, or sorry, fully attacks you with a five five. He has two of them. So yeah, um, you guys can kill. Yeah, them, like yeah, I, yeah I, I, Iden, Iden's gonna die. 
All right, so what we'll do is... Maybe you are supposed to pull up the Spirit of the Labyrinth, because I'm going to die, then you can just combo. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Think about that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, with my first trigger, I will go grab Rex yeah. Sage and spirit. destroy Spirit Sing. of the Labyrinth. Yeah. All right, I'm on lock. And then... <laughs> with, <laughs> but now you're going to die. Mono Black. With, yeah, my, baby. with my second Woodland Bellower trigger, I'm going to go grab Fierce Empath. Oh my which god. itself has a trigger. Again, for, what for what it's worth, these both enter. One, two. One, two. Yeah. I feel like um, an idiot. <laughs> so I will go from here... Grab Crater Hoof Behemoth. No, Team or Saber Tooth. Oh, you can't grab Team or Saber Tooth. I can't. I can't. But what I can do is grab and race forerunners yeah very cool very I neat think that's gonna be the choice there you don't have a crater oh no 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 i want to keep this around 500 and the that's upgrade and the upgrades i want to put and the upgrades i'm putting into the deck after i get it fully built are going to put it basically at five got it so end rays will enter and it's not enter oh, oh, enter uh, empath puts it in oh okay end. okay sorry my bad Although, since you unlock that spirit, you should kill Aiden. I think. I think? Yes. There's still a Lisa, but if Aiden can deal with it, he can I win. can deal with Lisa. I... Well, it would... It, you have to do it twice. Yeah, you have to do it Oh, twice. yeah, that's true. Which you probably can, can, but... He might, yeah, you only have three creatures. He might be able to. All right, so with that, we will... And raise it in your hand. And raise it yeah, in my hand. You can't cast it this turn. Correct. He we'll move to combat... Him. Uh, we will send the eight over at Aiden in the air. Yeah, I got no with, flyers. With the Sphinxes. Uh, and then... Play the... Now, no one do anything else, because Aiden just can't cast spells anymore. <laughs> Basically. Um, do I have anything like... Could. I could. This Lily could all... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play an Arbor Elf. We're dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Two is on carnival. <laughs> uh, and then we will move to discard. Full, you can start while he's pitching. Okay. Well, at least I don't have to. Assyria's S dead. That deck's busted. I'm glad it died. Hey! Yeah, I like yeah. this card. No, that was what you draw. <laughs> oh. I'm a suture of my future. Uh, let's go one white because it's white. Uh, suture Priest. Lose two. Yeah, yeah man. Gain one. Yeah. Um, why not? Let's play a Talisman of Hierarchy. Lose two. Yep. And... Foldy's unlocked now. He's about to go Hellbent, though. Yeah. I'm going to play a Priest of Foul Rates. Um, lose two, gain one, two. Real quick, how many cards does Wayne have in his hand? I have a full grip. I have seven. The number of cards in your hand should definitely be uh, 11. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Wayne yep. doesn't It's lost. not great. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that it? Is that oh, it? yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Then I can't remove your hard, cards and hands. You go to 15 now. Yeah. I'll oh, be drawing four. Yeah. Maybe I was a necessary evil. Maybe. I'm starting to think maybe you were. Can I think you make black <laughs> exotic orchard? You can, totally. Yeah. All right. Okay. Everything's gonna be so bad. Uh oh. I feel like you're pretty close to winning. I'm trying to win this turn. <laughs> of course. We're gonna go for it. All right, I'm gonna tap for three. Wait, one of these can be colorless. Maybe I can use this cage to foil us. <laughs> Yuki boy. I need black. Uh, wait. Oh god. I don't think I have enough black to do this. Oh, I totally do. Um, there we go. Let me do this. I'm gonna cast Crack the Vault. Lose two. I'm gonna try to one, lose two, three and lose tutor for a card. Oh, uh, yeah. sure. All right. Uh, dum 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 dum. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're gonna grab. I'm just gonna grab time save. It's yeah. super not infinite, but uh, I think if you get a, if you get an academy manufacturer, it is. I need to get both though. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying if you happen to get one. I'm gonna grab this time save and put it into my hand. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I think I can take what? We got five. I think in a perfect world, I'll get one extra turn, which means a whole other draw. Go draw through this dungeon. Turns, it's fucking excellent. Yeah, like if you, yeah, if you don't, if you stop me, I think you just went on the spot. And if you don't, you still draw 18 cards. So, how bad could it be, right? I don't have to show you this, but I'm now casting it. Lose a life and then lose two. Yeah. 
Is this cool? Yeah. Yeah, it's right. fine. Time save! Yeah, man. Okay, now for the cool part, because of this dungeon thing. I want to tap so time save and go down to four of these. Yep. You get to Ten venture four time? five times. I'm going to venture oh, five times. One, up. two, three, four, five. I'm going into the deep mines. Um, and I get to do everything before it. Um, so first, we're going to scry one. Boop. Uh, nope. Then we're going to create a treasure token. I do want that. Doop. Treasure, treasure. That is what you are. You're a shining star. Hey, that's an artifact. Think about that. Yeah. And then I get to go to the lost level, which is scry two. Let's do that. Good player scry to the bottom. Good job, Adrian. And then I get to scry, then I get to exile the top two cards in my library and I may play them. Is that forever? I, I would assume. Until it just says I may play them. Smothering Tithe and Thoracle. Cool. Um, and then the last one is Scry 3. That's the last mode I get. Bottoms, all of them. Okay. Now I, I will go to my end step. Yep, trigger. Thassa on Vernog. Yep. Uh, it leaves trigger. I'll take one. You'll take one? Will you take one? Uh, yeah. I will make a treasure. Uh, cool. Enter, same thing. Yep. Take, take one. one, take one. I will make a treasure. Um, before I go to my next turn, I'm going to wait. Maybe it's better to wait. Is it, you make his one, take his mana plus. I'll wait until my turn for reasons. Um, I'm going to untap, go to my extra turn off of Time Seed, and draw. All right, I have a limited amount of things I'm allowed to do, huh, Foley? You mm -hmm. ass. Hey, man, check this out. Wait, can you read Kai's Ghost Farm for me? Yeah. Whatever enchanted permanent dies or is put into exile, return that card to the battlefield of my control. This dispatch doesn't work. Um, that's awful. <coughs> Let's go ahead and take an extra turn. Yeah. Um, do the I dungeon. just sacked five. So first thing, this is five. We're going to go down to four triggers because we're going to Mad Wizard's Lair. Draw three cards, reveal them, cast one of them without paying its mana cost. We have Island. Dress down. Hey, that turns off uh, Gonti. Gonti's Aether Heart. When Gonti's Aether Heart under the artifact enters the battlefield of control, you get energy, energy. Pay many energy. Take an extra. I'm going to play without paying his mana cost. Gonti's Aether Heart. I'm going to draw my cards because I didn't off of the Consecrated Sphinx off of your time. Yeah, you get turn. to do that. Um, you, did, you do cast it, so you do yep. this too. Yep. Dress down will turn off Lisa. Dress down? Yeah, but just for just for this turn. Oh, do you not? Do you, do, do, don't you draw those? Uh, it's, oh yeah, draw, reveal, cast uh, yeah. one without paying. Got it. Um, so maybe I can use this dress down for my line next turn. Yeah. Yeah. And whenever Gonti's Heart or another artifact comes into the battlefield under your control. So these will trigger and I have an extra turn. Yep. Um, wow, this is Foley. What's going on here, man? He had <laughs> land for turn. It's an island. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You still have more dungeon triggers, don't you? That's right. I've got four more. Um, now, this is where I'm not Calvin and Calvin's Calvin. Because now I need to keep take on doing lead. dungeon. You think, you think I keep going through Mad Mage? Yeah, Just doing honestly. The thing? Okay, so the first thing we'll do is gain a life. <laughs> then we're going to go Scry 1. Then there's two more after that. I'll put this thing on the bottom. Then we're going to Goblin Bazaar. We'll make another treasure. Hey, that's such an artifact. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, artifact. This. I get two energy. Oh, we're popping off, boys. I think I'm going to die, but we're popping off. <laughs> <laughs> two energy. And then um, two more. Uh, scry 2. What is this? Ephemerate. Oh. Uh, bottom, bottom. Hmm. And then exile the top two, you may play them. Academy Manufacturer and Brainstorm. For what it's worth, you have to play those now. Uh, I j it's just, I may play them, I see. Um, I'm going to lose a couple of life and play Academy Manufacturer. Trigger, make two energy. Uh-oh. And this, I end up here in level So one, now Thassa's is infinite. Yes, I am infinite, but it's going to cost me life to do so. Right. Until um, you dress down. Yeah. Uh, Which you might have to do next turn. Yeah, I think I have to do it next like, turn. Fast as infinite? Yeah, because when... No, when I dress down, it's going to lock me out of my academy manifest. Oh, yeah, you're Very right. Very relevant. Yeah. yeah. Why, but why is it infinite? Because without... whenever you make a clue, you make a treasure. Well, it's good. We'll play through it. We'll play through it. We don't need to... I, if I mess it up, I'll mess it up. We're good. Um, we're going to go by my end step, and I'm going to Thassa targeting Murdoch. Yeah. All right. In response to that trigger. Yeah. I'm going to take one. I'm going to Nature's Claim Manufacturer. Hmm. Mm. Yes, Nature. I will gain four. You'll lose two. Um, and it's in the graveyard? Yeah. It's all gone. Um, still trigger, targeting Murdoch? Cool. Yeah. All right, uh, leaves, trigger. I make one. I'll, I'll take a clue. Thank you. Comes in, trigger. I'll make one. 
And I have an extra turn after this? Yes. Neat. Do I want to do anything else while I'm sitting here with my thumb? Oh yeah, trigger trigger. I have six, eight of these. And take an extra turn after this one. Does it stack to take extra turns? I think it does. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if there's a way to like clone funny Leganti's heart. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it matters because I think it's a technique. I think I'm gonna go to my hmm, my next turn on tap. <laughs> Holy, this deck is stupid. Uh, draw for turn. I do not have an you extra draw. turn after this. You draw a billion cards. My goal is to deck Wayne. Yeah. Because um, Consecrated Sphinx, I don't believe is a May. Maybe it is. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it is you May. Damn, uh, I can't deck Wayne. This is bullcrap. Okay, um, I'm gonna start by taking an extra turn after this one. I think you do sack it. Uh, oh, I have to sack it? Oh, ew. Exile. Exile? Yeah. Oh, wait. I exile it. <laughs> oh, uh, there's no way to be cute without doing extra things. Hey, I know what I can do. Um, let's sacrifice. Where's my time save? Sacrifice three clues and two treasures to take an extra turn after this one. You only venture three times this time. Yeah. Um, but I'm in five. So the first thing I'm going to do is scry two, and I get two after that. I think that I want this. Yeah. And I'll put this one on the bottom. Then I'm going to let's scry three. Oh, wait, I see three. I'm going to two there. I'll keep them both. And then uh, draw three cards, reveal them. You may cast one of them without paying his mana cost. And then I have one after that. Um, so we're going to see uh, Preston the Vanisher. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't cast, create a token copy that that creature, except it's a zero one. Sacrifice huh. five illusions, exile target, and then permanent. Huh. Uh, huh. Uh, uh, yeah, that looks infinite. Um, sacrifice an artifact, add two, KCI, Crockland Airworks, and Felder Guardian. Um, you just have it. It just does it. But you need to be careful of Lisa. Yes, I need to be very careful of Lisa. Huh. The problem with dress downing your Lisa As you dress is down I dress your... down my creatures. Yeah. Um, you still need to dig for a second removal. No. Uh, yeah, I think so. You have the this, right? I'm looking at infinite right now, but I, I will kill myself very quickly. Lisa drains you on cast spell, right? Correct. So and Thassa is just a triggered ability, right? Thassa? Yes, right. Thassa is a triggered ability. Correct. So what is happening from Thassa, Preston, and Will all coming together, and with a triggered ability, Will triggered enters the battlefield, and you get a token correct. copy of Will. So then you get a token copy of one. And then that you... token copy has to die, but it still enters. So that's an extra two triggers. Yeah. Okay. Which means yes. you can keep taking turns. So leave, will... enter, leave, enter. Play this without paying its mana cost. Foley will gain one because it's a creature. I've been gaining one a while here, yeah. but yeah. I don't think it matters. And then I do have an extra turn after this one. And I think maybe I should just get the other cards out of my hand while I have a moment here. Do I need this Felidar Guardian? No, I just don't think I need it. Oh, I've got one more dungeon to resolve. Yes. I'm going to gain a life. <laughs> hey, sheesh. Um, and then, uh, do I need to do anything else? I don't know that I do. I feel like maybe I should get this KCI out of my hand. Probably. Um, maybe. Mm. I don't know. He still has two on tap. That's fine. I, at this point, if I get blown out, I actually stop caring. KCI. Um, now I'm going to go to my end step. Um, Thassa wants to hit Vernog, and then according to Preston, whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't cast, create a token. It's a zero-one token. And then you can sacrifice illusions to target non to exile non-target, whatever. Um, so this is gonna leave, and the first thing's gonna happen, which is Vernog. I'm gonna make a clue. And then this is gonna trigger. I'm gonna get more energy. Um, and then does anything else happen? Non-token creature? Nope. This enters and it triggers Vernog, and then Preston's also gonna trigger. Uh, we're both paying, I assume? Yeah. Another clue. And then Preston sees Vernog enter, so I'm gonna get a Vernog, and it's gonna trigger. Another clue. Um, from there... Legend rule. Legend rule applies, and I can He's sacrifice gonna lose. this token. token copy. So you're gonna get a trigger. And I get... It triggers. Um, so I get a clue. Technically, I've been missing some of these triggers, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. All you have to do at this point is get Wayne down to one life. Because at that point, he can't pay. And then you make more clues. Yep. And then that's Yep. I'm gonna go to my next turn. Sheesh. One turn faster, baby. All right. I get to see more cards from my deck. That's fair. You do get to you do get to look at all your cards. Um, at what point should I? I'm sure there's a really good way to do this. 
And I'm sure I'm not going to... Bro, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a good way to do this, and I'm sure I don't care. Um, I'm going to... What if I just went to my end step? <laughs> I'm going to go to my end step. Is that cool? Yeah. Pass the target to Murdoch. Yeah. You guys are paying, I assume? Yeah. I'll make one. And then Vernog comes into play. I'll make one, you will ping one, I assume? Yeah. And then Preston sees that, and Vernog comes into play. I gain one, lose one. I'll make one. And then Vernog dies because of ledger rule. And then I sacrifice five of these with time save. Yeah. Okay, I go through the dungeon five times, and I'm in two. One, two, three, four, five. I do everything. I uh, create a treasure token. Uh, treasure token. I scry two. Ah. Nope. I exile the top two, and I may just play them. Supreme Verdict, farewell, who needs them? Um, and then I scry three. No. And then I draw three and yada yada. One, two, three. I'll cast none of them. And then I would like to go to my next turn. Oh wait, sorry. Go to my next turn. Doop 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 doop. Go to end set. Yeah. Um, do the thing. Everyone gonna pay one? Yeah. All right, go up to four. Uh, it enters. Five. The other one enters. Six. It dies to the legend rule. Pay five. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we got that. Are we good? Yeah, yeah okay. We're good. Okay. <laughs> so that's going to kill Wayne effectively. And then after I I'm got nothing. done I'm, killing I'm... Wayne, I can just kill you with a dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Wow, good good Vernon deck, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't understand that, neither did I. Um, we'll be back in a few moments. If you're watching this live, it's Summer Commander. And if you're watching this not live because you're a wonderful subscriber of MTG The Stack, I'll see you tomorrow.